Hi guys and welcome to Angling For You and you join me today with another review on the drive. Now this one's been waited for by quite a few people since we did the Feederland um, side tray review and it is the Feederland hood that goes on the large trays. Now the large trays they've brought out at the moment, the, side, the smaller trays will be to follow um, and we're just going to get into it. We're going to talk a little bit about it, um, how much it costs and a little bit of how it puts together and it's pretty simple, really lightweight and yeah, seems like a decent bit of kit. So, starting off, it is £70. Now, a few people are going to go, holy crap, £70, when I've already spent 100 or whatever on the on the tray itself, over 100 on, on the tray. It is a lot of money, it's around about 200 quid for all in, but it is a massive tray, and it's where you can move it and move it around your box, um, and the univers universalness of it makes it for me you know worth the money especially if you're investing for something that's hard wearing so the the frame itself um of the hood is unbelievable unbelievably lightweight like really lightweight um and again it comes with some similar things if you've got the tray itself that you'll, you'll notice around the screws now i've kept one on and i've kept one off to show you and i will bring it up to camera and show you this so it makes it a little bit easier so you can see on this side how that goes on. So this is going to hook onto the tray, which we'll show you. And this goes under and tightens up to bring it nice and tight. Now on the corner here, that goes under the corner, which we'll show you, of the tray itself to hold the corner part in so no water gets in the back. And obviously that is the two pieces that are going to screw on this end to make it look exactly the same as that one. So let's get back towards that. We'll put that together and then we'll go a little bit closer in uh, and make and so you can see what it looks like close up. So I'll rest it on a flat platform just to give you a better sort of uh, outline rather than having it attached to my box. Now, the first thing that I'm gonna tell you about it is, is get, get these corner parts. You want that underneath. We'll just put that underneath and just rest that there a second. And we're going to get this this piece simply underneath and into the bottom of this one really nice and simple just a little light screw so we don't want it screwed in too far so it just allows us to be able to rest rest that onto here and again with with this side we're going to pull that underneath and just rest them on as you would do the sliding parts and what I'd say is just get one on at a time. A lot of the time you're going to keep this on. It's only really going to go on once. And once it stays on, it's on. Um, so that's there. We get this one just turned and underneath. There like that. And this little part underneath, we'll flip it over. We'll grip it. Just need a little bit of a a screw and then we'll tighten the other side to make sure it's it's on there nice and strong so like i said before that corner bit's under there so make sure double check that's on there before we pull it on and we'll just tighten this one up now that we've got that one slid on like oh i only really need to do this once and once you've done it once that's it it's it's on for the duration most people most people are not going to take it off just lift that up so it sits underneath it. Most people are not going to do this more than once, like I say, once, once you've got it on there, it's uh, it's done and dusted. And I'll, what I'll do is once we've done this, before I erect the whole can, uh, canopy, I'm going to turn it over just so you can see on the bottom how that fits. So it's just about, for me, you could just rag it on. I like to work it on bit by bit and without tight, over tightening it and just make sure that it sits on nice and freely, that's on. So I'm just going to flip that over and we can see how this sits on the other side. So you can see it sits on onto the frame at this side and onto the frame at this side. And then we've got the, the corners which stop it from slipping off. Fairly simple, nice and easy, clever design. Oop, slide in that. And then it's just a case of erecting the hood. Now, the hood itself covers probably 90% 90, 90 of, of the tree. You know, m most 
most times you know, your tray is not going to be fully covered in regards right to the edge that's just standard pretty much with any tray um, but as you can see it's made out of this really light weight material now at first I sort of thought is that going to rip um, so it, it does just feels so so thin but Kelv has had it with an hose pipe and tested it and it's super waterproof now this is a problem I had with the Garbolino it, it, it was built solid and looked fantastic but it held water in this top part and it dropped through and soaked everything and, and it's, it's just for me if you're going to get a hood you want it out of that material and it's got that sort of umbrella kind of material and it might be a little bit easier to rip but, but you know as long as you're sensible you're not gonna you're not gonna rip it um, and for me lightweightness strong and durable and, and, and above all waterproof you don't want the wind to be floating it down every two seconds and you want the rain to not come through that's the whole idea of having a hood um, and you know it's got a really rigid frame it's super lightweight it, it's stiff um, and it's, it's definitely waterproof which is perfect and it covers like, like I said 95% of your surface area um, and now it's done and, and on you know it's just a case of flattening it down from the middle and you can have an open tray if you wanted to um, which is dead simple so what we'll do is we'll get in close we'll have a look and we'll go around it and you get to see the front the back um, and the close in on the fastenings right so we're having a look and it's interesting to to think about is so myself and Kelv really liked the the Ventilite that was a really nice tray but one of the, the downsides which we'll show you in a second is when you used to collapse it it sort of um, it took up some of your tray where this doesn't so we'll show you that in a minute but just giving you a little a bit of a, a look outside um, around the back with the Fiederland logo there in blue which I, I, I don't mind it to be honest I think it looks quite good um, I, I don't know if it'll look better in white um, but it, 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 it's you know it still looks nice and you can see inside there's some really good coverage there it holds it up at the back with the uh, with a metal framing and you can see it's tucked in and sewn in so it holds the sag off and same at the top so it's even if it fills with water it's not gonna it's only gonna go a certain amount before it, it, it doesn't sag because of those uh, bits that are sewn in so what we'll do is just I'll just give you a quick look of the fastenings again and those really strong fastenings um, and we're just going to collapse it and we'll show you what we mean about the Ventilite so when you're doing it from the from from the middle just helps not bending it and you can see it doesn't take up all the tray you can tuck that because it's lightweight you can tuck that back and get your bait tubs in with, with the Ventilite it was a bit of thick material and you couldn't do that it were uh, it, it used to struggle and have to really rag it to get it on um, although it is a very good tray and easy to remove um, the Ventilite it uh, yeah that goes on nice and then you know if it's not raining and it's but it's windy and you want to you know put it down then you can you can do that so yeah I'm really impressed with it, it looks really good so let's jump back on main camera and finish it off right guys so what do we think so as you've seen you might have looked at it and thought oh it took you a few seconds to to first put it onto the box now what I wanted specifically to do Kel said to me why don't you have a try and have a little fiddle before we film I wanted to do it as a person that's not done it before um, and see how quickly it took so which obviously didn't take a lot of time now it didn't come with any instructions not that you need and it's very self-explanatory but it just shows how quickly you can put it together um, with pretty much ease without knowing how it goes together and um, so you know that that were nice to do that uh, on camera and get that initial reaction so my thoughts are um, I, I, I think it's really good um, and, and it's waterproof which is a main thing for me um, I, I am on the fence with the thinness um, it, they maybe know what they're doing and it's thin and they know it's thin and it's not gonna rip but I'm with Kelv on this that it, it it does feel like it's, it's just very thin um, but I, I don't think it'll rip and it don't feel like it rip but it's just because it's so thin you just worry about it ripping if that makes any sense especially with fishing and you're throwing pole sections around and rods and whatnot um, but the good thing is the real positive is, is having been able to fold it down and having the whole tray space um, is really important um, waterproof is why you buy it for me in my, my eyes I know some people buy it because you know it just covers in the sun and it just allows a bit of shelter but I, 
it's got to be waterproof. I've fished in matches when I fished um, in matches at Lindown with that garble, you know, it was a reservoir on top and it was just coming through like a tap um, and it's just hopeless. So this is really good. And again, 69 quid, it's not cheap. Uh, I know that, but you're paying for the craft and the time and the money that's spent into researching it. They've obviously spent time. They just didn't bring one out straight away. They, they've took the time to get it right. So only time will tell if if they've got it right. But it feels a really solid product as always from Feederland. Um, so thank you very much for watching. If you want to look at any more of his reviews or unboxings or, or any feature uh, or tackle videos, just go onto our playlist and there's absolutely hundreds on there and you can get into it. If you want to come onto the Facebook group, we're over 6,300, I think it is, uh, subscribers, uh, members, should I say, uh, now. And, you know, just a great community of uh, no banter, but just great questions lots of things that people are doing and, and and you feel free to ask any questions on there and if you want to join us on instagram and just look at what we're doing with the photos and then do that um, and until the next one guys thank you very much for watching and tight lines